political institutions in the colonies developed in ways that were either typically European or were distinctively American, as climate, soil conditions, and other natural resources shaped regional economic development. The African slave trade and the development of the slave labor system in many of the colonies resulted from the plantation economies and labor shortages. Economic, economic characteristics, characteristics of the, of the colonial, colonial period. period. The New England colonies developed an economy based on shipbuilding, fishing, lumbering, small-scale subsistence farming, and eventually manufacturing. The colonies prospered, reflecting the Puritans' strong belief in the values of hard work and thrift. The middle colonies of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware developed economies based on shipbuilding, small-scale farming, and trading. Cities such as New York and Philadelphia began to grow as seaports and commercial centers. Southern colonies developed economies in the eastern coastal lowlands based on large-scale plantations that grew cash crops such as tobacco, rice, and indigo for export to Europe. Further inland, however, in the mountains and the valleys of the Appalachian foothills, the economy was based on small-scale subsistence farming, hunting, and trading. There was a strong belief in private ownership of property and free enterprise characterized in colonial life. Social, Social characteristics, characteristics of, of the colony. New England's colonial society was based on religious standing. The Puritans grew increasingly intolerant of dissenters who challenged the Puritans' belief in the connection between religion and government. Rhode Island was founded by dissenters fleeing persecution by the Puritans in Massachusetts. The middle colonies were home to multiple religious groups, including Quakers in Pennsylvania, Huguenots and Jews in New York, and Presbyterians in New Jersey, who generally believed in religious tolerance. These colonies had more flexible social structures and began to develop a middle class of skilled artisans, entrepreneurs, or business owners, and small farmers. Virginia and the southern colonies had a social structure based on family status and the ownership of land. Large landowners in the eastern lowlands dominated colonial government and society and maintained an allegiance to the Church of England and closer social ties to England than the other colonies. In the mountains and the valleys further inland, however, society was characterized by small subsistence farmers, hunters, and traders of Scot, Irish, and English descent. The Great Awakening was a religious movement that swept both Europe and the colonies during the mid-1700s. It led to the rapid growth of evangelical religions such as the Methodists and the Baptists and challenged the established religious and governmental order, it laid the social foundations for the American Revolution. Political, Political life, life in, in the, the colonies. colonies. New England colonies used town meetings, an Athenian direct democracy model, in operation of the government. The middle colonies incorporated a number of democratic principles that reflected the basic rights of Englishmen. The southern colonies maintained stronger ties with Britain, with planters playing the leading roles in representative colonial legislators. The development of indentured servitude and slavery. The growth of a plantation-based agricultural economy in the hot, humid, coastal lowlands of the southern colonies required cheap labor on a large scale. Some of the labor needs, especially in Virginia, were met by indentured servants, 
who were often poor persons from England, Scotland, or Ireland, who agreed to work on plantations for a period of time in return for their passage from Europe or relief from debts. Most plantation labor needs eventually came to be filled by the forcible importation of Africans. While some Africans worked as indentured servants, earned their freedom and lived as free citizens during the colonial era, over time larger and larger numbers of enslaved Africans were forcibly brought to the southern colonies across the Middle Passage. The development of a slavery-based agricultural economy in the southern colonies would lead to eventual conflict between the North and the South and the American Civil War. Mm -hmm.